Hello everybody, this is Mr. Jerdy and we're in my back room at my house. Hey, Mrs. Fountain made me a cool poster right up here just for this. She lives up the street and was able to drop it off on my porch. We stayed our six feet. Hey, um, if you're reading this email here, I wanted to make a video so that you didn't have to do that and explain some things for the week. Every Tuesday is when I'll be sending out these emails. That's when math has been designated to send out emails. Um, I'll be working my normal work hours Monday through Friday. So regular work day at 2.30. I will not be checking my email. I'll be checking it the next day. So if you send me an email, know that I'll be looking at it the next day and try to get back to you if you got a question. Um, the things that you're going to be seeing here and that I'll be showing you will be stuff that you can try each day this week. We're kind of starting things slowly. so. These are what I recommend that you try each day, and we're just kind of seeing how it goes as we do it. So here in the letter, you'll notice that there's a link for the web page. So let's click on that. I'll open that up. Take a look at it. Click on the blue book for eighth grade. This will be where you'll go for your stuff. And this week, I know it's kind of weird, but math is required to send out their emails on Tuesdays. So our what I'll be sending out will be Tuesday through the following Monday. We won't be Monday through Friday. So just this is from today until next Monday. And then next Tuesday, I'll come in and I'll do another video and tell you what's happening for the next week. So clicking in here, each day is listed. You'll see under Tuesday, April 7th, just taking a look at one step equations, which we did a long time ago. Um, just some reminders of those things. Here's some videos that you can watch. I recommend watching each one. And if this is just so simple for you, you remember how to do this, check out this fraction one and make sure you know how to eliminate a fraction in one step. That'd be important. Okay, once you've watched these videos, there are two programs you could log into. You could log into IXL. There is a daily limit. You can only do 10 questions and then it will ask you to pay. Do the 10 free questions each day and then just stop. If you haven't done a half an hour at this point, you've watched these three videos and you've clicked on IXL and you've done the 10 problems. Well, there's another link for Brain Genie where you could continue to practice some math to get a half an hour in. Okay, so then you've done your job for today. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, April 8th, there is a land the plane activity. Click, make sure you click on my class. It's kind of like y equals mx plus b, and you're trying to make it so that the plan will land, the plane will land correctly on the landing strip, which is kind of cool. So just play along with that. It's kind of a fun Desmos activity. That's for tomorrow. On Thursday, here's what's on the menu here. There's going to be some videos of me recorded for multiple step equations. And then there's the links down here for IXL. Remember, you only get 10 free questions. Don't pay. Do not pay. Once you've used your 10 free ones, just go down to Brain Genie if you haven't worked for a half hour yet. And then Friday, there's a game of Guess Who. Kind of like Guess Who. If you've played that board game before, you click on My Class. If there's nobody else online from My Class to play with, you can have a sibling or a parent log in through this exact same link and you could play against them. It's kind of fun. Then on Monday, I have some fun, interesting uh, math videos that you can watch, and that'll be it for Monday, and then be waiting for Tuesday when I upload my video and email for what we do the following week. And remember how I got to this. It was back in here in the email, and I clicked on the web page right here. Just clicked on that link. You can also find it through Cavalero if you click on uh, resources for students and click on math help. This page will come up and you can click on the blue book. So those are all the things to try each day. Try not to go ahead unless you um, have, uh, you know there's a day where you won't be able to do it. You could jump ahead and do some things, but I'm hoping there's not too much like just do math problems, but there's some some fun things to do every other day too. All right, some important things here that I don't wanna forget. 
is I'm going to be accepting late work. So if you want to email me now, it is okay for me. The district has said I can be putting late work in. So if you email me a late assignment, I can put that in the gradebook for you. That would be really good. Um, we're just going to be taking things slowly. So these are all just recommended things that, I, that you try. Um, would be really good this week to start setting up a schedule for yourself. Like when are you going to do what? Pick a time where you're going to do this half an hour of math each day and try to be consistent with that. That will be super helpful when we get into actually doing things that are going to be graded and due. But for now, it's just try it and let's get a good setup going. That's what I'm trying to do right now too. Um, so make a good make a good schedule there. I hope you guys are staying safe. This is Backroom with Jerdy. Try out that stuff there. Check out the next link that shows you how to send an email with just your voice talking. If you don't like to type emails and you just want to be able to tell me and send an email, check out the link below. That will be right here, which I haven't added yet, but there's the link to the voice recorder. Have a great day.